If you look up here, you see here Henry IV was assassinated by Ravalak on the 14th of May, 1610. I was actually here on the 400th anniversary that night, and there was flowers everywhere from the royalists, people who love the French royalty. Now, Henry IV was loved like Obama was at the beginning of his term. Very, very popular king, and the grandson of Catherine de Medicis, the one that did the Red, Man, uh, the Red Man story. And back a little bit. I'm blind. <laughs> um, so now Henry IV was a, like a prolific king. He was very, very popular. Everybody loved him. Thought he was really cool. He was really cool. He had a cool mustache. He even had an earring. How cool for a man at that time, right? <laughs> you know. So Henry IV was over at the Louvre, and he actually, believe it or not, encountered the Red Men that told him not to go down the specific street. Now this was a very busy street, and it would connect the Louvre to City Hall. And one night, on the 14th of May, he decided to take his carriage right down here. And there was a, a school teacher by the name of Ravelac, who was Catholic. And Henry IV was a Protestant who converted the Catholicism by French law to become king. And I'm going to show you where the murder actually happened. And what happened after that murder gets even creepier. Follow me. This very spot, Ravillac was hiding, Raviac, as the French would say, was hiding right on the side of the street. And he had a knife. They gave him a potion. His cabal of conspirators gave him a, a potion that said it would make him invisible. We're doing a ghost tour. We're doing a ghost tour. Gave him a potion that said it would make him invisible and a magic knife that said it would slay any royal blood. He jumps out and he stabs the king in the neck, pulls him out, blood everywhere. And as that blood covers all the guards and all the locals, it desaguinated the king. All the blood left his body. He fell to the ground. Ravlak was tackled and brought down. Now what they did to make sure that you don't ever do this to a king again, they documented his execution. First, they put hot coals under his nails. Then they filleted his skin. Then they filled his veins with lead. Burned his eyes out with hot coals. And then drew and quartered them. And put it all in the newspaper. And it took 14 hours for him to die. That's how good the executioner was. Now, the story doesn't end there, because they cremated his body, which was not very good for a Catholic, put his ashes to the four corners of France, forced everybody in the Raviac family to change their name or leave the country, burned his house to the ground and salted the ground. However, when they buried King Henry IV in the Basilica of Saint Denis, where the guy with the head was, his body was so well desanguinated that during the French Revolution when they brought all the corpses of the French kings and queens out and lined them up in front, kind of like you saw those rats over there, in front of the basilica, Henry IV's body was so well preserved because of the desanguination, because it hit the right artery, that someone stole his head. His head traveled around France for over 200 years until 1996 where someone found it in a flea market for five francs they returned it to the french royal family but they didn't say they didn't want it 
because the French royals, the Bourbon family, still around. Okay. They didn't want it until a DNA test proved it was part of the French royal family, and now it's in a vault somewhere in the Louvre. Isn't that creepy? Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the Paris Ghost Tour. Thank you for coming on Dark Paris. Appreciate your patronage tonight. If you have any questions, I am happy to answer them at this time. If you want to go to the subway, I can show you where to head out. <laughs> if you want to go to the catacombs, we'll talk about it after the tour. So thank you very much.